I've had Parkinson's for the last 14 years. I was uh, I was having the symptoms from 96 to 98. However, it was officially diagnosed uh, in 1998. My symptoms were uh, tremors on my right side, lack of coordination, lack of balance, uh, uh, stiffness, shortness of breath, and uh, as you know, it, this illness will get worse over time. So um, after 14 years of it, I'm noticing that I'm more stiff, uh, rigid. Uh, uh, I, I think uh, my coordination is much worse. Uh, this, the other symptoms that may not be movement symptoms are um, my clarity, my thought clar thoughts are not as clear as they used to be. Inside my brain feels foggy. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I'm slow in movements, I have been slow in movements and also in receiving information from outside and if I want to communicate with the outside world, it takes me longer to do that. So everything has slowed down basically as far as movement, as far as my cognition and uh, my speech. Although the medication works, I seem to be doing okay, fairly, but when it doesn't work, I have to take frequent breaks. Do you only have tremors in your foot or in your hands too? Uh, in my hands too. Anything else? Yes, uh, because of the lack of coordination, I have the tendency to drag my left, uh, my right leg with me. And my toes are so stiff that they don't allow the blood to circulate properly in my system. So I find my legs to feel very, very numb most of the time, uh, no stamina, no strength. And uh, that's why I need to get frequent reflexology on my feet. Both, so both feet, are the toes go numb or is it one side? The right side is worse than the left. Okay. And uh, mysteriously, I lost my hearing out of the blue uh, five years ago. Gradually, I lost it. Now I'm 40% deaf on both sides. Uh, more on the left, right side than I am on the left side. Uh, they don't know the reason for it, but I'm assuming that maybe uh, Parkinson's might have something to do with it, um, or maybe the medications that I'll take. Okay. And what are the medications you're taking? I'm taking Cinevet, uh, 25 over 100, four times a day. I'm taking uh, Amantadin, 100 milligram, twice a day. And because the uh, Parkinson's uh, brings with it uh, depression, I chose to be on uh, Celexa, which is 40, 40 milligram a day. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Okay. Put your arms up. I just want to test here. I want to test your upper body strength. Hold that uh, up, resist, don't leave, push your arms down, okay? Hold it up, resist, ready? Hold it up again, resist. Okay, now I've got the mouthpiece here. We're gonna be putting in her mouth. This is the first time I'm putting it in. I, I did the adjustment. So let me get that in. Good, bite down, tap, tap, tap on that. Close your lips and relax. Just tap, tap for a second. Put your arms out. Okay, resist. Don't let me push your arms down. Ready? One more time. Resist. Don't let me push them down. Can you feel the difference? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Before the piece, uh it was, it, there wasn't any effort for me to keep it out and it would go down without any uh, control from my side. And with the piece? With the piece, I was more, to, to have, I, was, I had more, a lot more strength to hold my arms now. Okay. Okay, then, so I'm going to have you walk up and down a couple of times. I just want to see how you're walking today. And try to get her legs and the, body, the whole body. Good. Turn around and walk back again. It's a reflection of how long you've been here. Okay, good. Stop right there. I'm going to put this mouthpiece in here. It's a reflection of what's going on. Bite down. Tap, tap, tap. 
Turn around and walk back for me. That's the only time. One more time. It's fascinating. What are you feeling? I'm feeling free. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling very coordinated, balanced, straight, healthy. I'm breathing a lot better than before and my shoulders are so relaxed. Both sides? Both sides because the, it, it feels like the bloodstream is going up from, it's going normally and freely from my shoulders up to my brain. Were you having shoulder problems before? What I'm uh, doing this this stiffness? Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was one of my major problems. On the right side more both or both side, sides? Both sides of my neck, yeah. Okay. <sighs> now, uh, how long have you had the shoulder and back problems? Uh, it started about um, a year and a half ago. Do you yeah, remember what happened? It, it's Parkinson's related because I'm so stiff to you throughout the day. It seems like I use my shoulders and my neck to hold myself around and to carry myself around and therefore it stiffs up. And okay. when that happens, I feel uh, shortness of breath a lot. I feel like uh, it's hard for me to catch a deep breath. And also I, I snatch a lot. Uh, so with this piece, I feel much straighter. Okay, good. And my arms... Uh, You can feel the difference immediately. Absolutely. Do you, do you have any problems with your hands as far as doing work no. or anything? Uh, I don't, but it's everything is stiff, you know. But uh, it seems much softer, much uh, I don't know the word, uh, uh, flexible, flexible. Just right now, within the two minutes of putting it in. How much better would you say your neck and shoulder pain is right now since I just put it in? From ten. On a scale of one to ten, which what 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 was it when you first walked in? You mean ten being the worst? Ten being worse, zero being no stiffness or no pain. Today. Yeah. Uh, eight was the worst, and right now four or three. Okay, so it dropped to about half. Yeah. Half the stiffness. And these are about Parkinson's symptoms. Oh my gosh, thank you for letting me breathe. That's another Parkinson's symptom? The, the being stiff, able to... When you're stiff, I think, it, for me, I don't know, every patient is different. When I'm stiff up, when my neck and shoulder are so tight, it seems like catching a breath and being able to breathe normally and freely, it's very difficult. And I'm constantly gasping for air. Okay. So let's see how you do in two weeks when you come back. I have a good feeling about the whole thing. All right. Okay. You. This is your one-week follow-up. Tell me what you have noticed and what's improved over this last week. Sure. Uh, first day, um, I, uh, I was coordinated completely. I had no shoulder pain, no neck pain. Uh, my leg were very strong, especially my right leg. I cleaned my house. I did seven loads of laundry. And I, <laughs> I didn't cook dinner because I'm not a good cook. So I picked up my son from school and I was still running and running at the end of the night myself. My husband was very surprised. Good. And uh, it's been a wonderful week. Uh, I have uh, had difficulty breathing, which hasn't been the case this past week. I was breathing very nicely, very smoothly. My posture was better, my left and right were coordinated, and uh, I, I, was just, I was just doing fantastic. All right, good, thank you. You're welcome. This is your second follow-up, three weeks since we put the mouthpiece in. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what has been going on lately in the last three weeks as far as having the mouthpiece. Yes, uh, everything improved pretty much from 90 to 95 percent. I've had uh, a lot of energy. Um, uh, I'm not at all tired during the day. I'm not fatigued at during the day. 
my breathing is awesome. I mean, every time I pay attention to my breathing, it just goes all the way down to the bottom without having to have uh, difficulty controlling it. I have had great balance and coordination. Uh, my clarity of thoughts has been much, much better. And uh, what else? Um, I sleep like a baby. Uh, just the past two days, uh, I noticed a little bit of neck pain in the morning, and I think I started uh, grinding again at night, which is which usually goes away one hour later in the morning. Overall, I'm very very happy and pleased with the appliance. I could, I, it's just a miracle. Everybody has noticed my my change of being physically and therefore my change of being emotionally and uh, and uh, personally to be honest so it's been a great uh, three weeks I haven't had uh, I, I haven't had a great time since, uh, since 14 years ago these past three weeks has been awesome now uh, you said something about Thanksgiving yeah <laughs> Yeah, I managed uh, to cook for 16 people for Thanksgiving. It was my second year of doing it. Uh, there were some nervous moments where I didn't know what to do, but the appliance kept me going. It didn't. Uh, usually when I'm nervous without the appliance, like before, I would just, my whole nervous system would shut down. But this time, although I was nervous, but the, it, it felt like the, uh, the appliance was holding me grounded and it didn't affect my nervous system as a whole. And how many people did you cook for? 16 people. Okay. And everybody was amazed and <laughs> at all. Good. Yeah. Good, thank you. Sure. It's been four and a half weeks since we delivered the mouthpiece. Uh, how have things been? Everything has been wonderful. The improvements that I've had pretty much have stayed the same. Maybe just one number down. Uh, of the improvement, like uh, um, what was I? The fatigue uh -huh. has come back, but not not so much. Just just when you say from zero to ten, ten being worst, worst zero being best. Uh, I would say it's just one. Okay, really. and then as far as your other symptoms, neck pain. No neck pain, no shoulder pain, no headaches. Uh, coordination is awesome. Okay. Balance is great. Breathing is awesome. Um, I have maybe. Very, uh, and very ear congestion? Ear congestion, no ear congestion. Or ear pain? No ear pain. Okay. Everything has been great. Uh, with Parkinson's disease, uh, 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 there's a lot of fatigue involved, like at least two or three times a day. And my body just doesn't function. And uh, it's like you're constantly fighting against gravity. And you're not able to hold yourself up and carry uh, chores. But after I put this piece in my mouth, I have not had much of a fatigue. And if I did have it, it wasn't at all as strong as it used to be. And I could still do my chores and work while I was so-called fatigued. Before the mouthpiece, how long were you fatigued as far as uh, on a, any given day? What would happen? Two to three hours a day. And it was unpredictable. It, it could happen in the middle of shopping. At it, and when that happened, I had to put everything aside and come back home. And lie down. If I push myself through that fatigue while shopping, that means that I exacerbated my symptoms more during the day, and I had to be more debilitated throughout the day. Okay. But uh, but now, although I may I may feel feel a little bit of a fatigue, I can feel and I can see how this piece is helping me to have the stamina to go through it still. Okay. So uh, it's not at all. I haven't been debilitated because of fatigue uh, since I've had this. Piece.